The main message is that soil tests can be used to do much more than we're doing and are very accurate as long as we do the proper job of taking the sample and then running it through an analysis that we understand what those numbers mean in the field. The other part is don't do it until you know it works. <laughs> <laughs>
and whether or not they ever had really good phosphorus and potassium, I don't know for sure, but I expect that they were better and they just haven't been maintained. Uh, what you can wish to Ukrainian farmers, uh, what to do? Well, to me, the, it, if, uh, it may be, depend on what situation there is, but so many of the farmers tell us, well, we don't really get adequate rainfall. If water is a limiting, is, is a limiting factor or the limiting factor, and this is what we've advised a number of farmers as we go onto their farm and see what they have, if moisture is what's holding you up, potassium is the first key and zinc is the second. And so we'll tell them, if, you're, if water is what's limiting your yield, you need to put on more potassium and correct your zinc level. And most of the farmers that we talk to are not really using enough potassium even to maintain the potassium for the yields they're getting. So to me, the biggest thing we can do in that situation is use the potassium and zinc. Now, as far as overall, if you say moisture's not a factor, then what I would say is you have the number one key in most of the soils in Ukraine, and that's good calcium levels. The next thing to look at is if we have the P and K there, the P and K, sulfur to me is your big limiting factor. Can we see Kinsey office or Kinsey consultants in Ukraine in the near future? <laughs> Let's put it this way. There can be, but I don't know of anyone that is at the moment, that is, uh, it, that is trying to be. Mm -hmm. Because it's something new uh, model of uh, managed soils uh, in Ukraine. This is why we develop the advanced courses, is to so that other people could understand how to work these same formulas, and it's not a secret. As far as I'm concerned, if I can get what's in my head out into a farmer's head or a consultant's head, everything just works better. Farmers will be surprised to hear it, really. <laughs> Uh, we find that is true, and so many times on the first day, there's a lot of resistance. On the second day, they start to hear things that, well, that really is something that we have to, like the one man came up and he said, I always wondered why the clay stuck to my boots on my farm. And as the second and third day goes along, now all of a sudden they start to most farmers tell me they like the examples because one, like one farmer said, when you use the examples, I think I could do that. And so the examples over a period of one, two and three days, I think it goes from surprise to, well, that maybe makes sense. Okay, thank you. For okay, coming. you're welcome. <laughs> you're okay, welcome. Thank you. My pleasure.